it, uh, here's my my view on on SEO. If you want your video to rank, I'd say start backwards and start with the search term that you want and then make a video about that. But what happens a lot of times people just make some random video and they're like, "Well, I want this to rank for moving to Maryland," even though it's nothing it's not even about that. And you can do all the keyword optimization you want for it and it's not going to rank if it's not um, even about that or a good fit for it. So if you are going to focus on the SEO stuff, start with the search term first and then make the best possible video that you can think of that would be the perfect fit for that search term. You, yeah, you, you'll do better than trying to find the magic soup of keywords. <laughs> yeah. If you make if you took that time and thought of a really cool script for your video. Yeah, that's if you the took only... that time and put it back in the video instead of trying to, you know, like, oh, if I use this magic keyword, it's going to make my video blow up. <laughs> no, it did. No, <laughs> that's not how it works. It, yeah, I mean, Christina and I don't really focus on SEO too much, but if like that you is used to, though, I do. Yeah, I, I mean, it, and I, I kind of do sometimes like that's the only way SEO will work is if you have a search term and you think of what can I possibly make that is the best possible result for that search term. And it starts off with that topic of the video. Um, that's the only real way. Like, but I see people that they make a video about escrow accounts and then they want it to rank for how to buy a house. And it's like, no, that's not a good fit for that search term. Like nobody would uh, click on that or really enjoy it. It's not a good fit. But with that said, because some people will be like, well, that title is not going to work because it has no SEO in it. And I'm like, but you're wrong. You know, you really have to like really think about what you're trying to convey. There's there's a there's a balancing act. There is some SEO in compelling titles, but you can't be like how to buy a house and think you're ever going to get anywhere there. You could. But if you took that how to buy a house and made it a very cool video and added some sexiness to your title, it's going to, you're going to do really well. You got to spice it up a little bit. Throw yeah. I got a little in there. oregano in there. <laughs> <laughs> Put some basil and oregano on it. Yeah. That, that, that'll, that'll spice that title up, you know? So it would be a good spicy title for that. Um, should you buy a home in 2020? <laughs> buy a home in less than five minutes in 2020. Yeah, that like that kind of stuff, that topic could rank for <laughs> buying a home. I like all this advice that people you're, if you be careful on who you're getting advice from, be very, very careful. Okay, so let's say you optimize your search term, your video for some search term, how to buy a house. All that is really giving you is an opportunity and if you put a bunch of keywords in there, how to buy a house, yeah, most likely YouTube probably will test your video out for that search term a couple of times, but then they're going to measure it and see if people are actually clicking on your video. And if they don't click on it, they're not going to keep ranking it. If they people watch to click on it, but they don't watch it, they're not going to keep showing your video. I mean, SEO really just kind of buys you like an opportunity, but that's that's it. Your video has to perform well. The users have to interact with your video that it's it's very it's a performance based algorithm mm -hmm. if you want to learn more about using youtube in your real estate business click right here to check out another video and if you want to earn an extra hundred thousand dollars a year in commission just from making youtube videos check out my course at youtubeleadgen.com link down below